All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring out these teams. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring out the Hollywood Scarlets onto the track. After they get done huddling. We're gonna do some quick team intros, Rocky Mountain, so get ready. We're gonna introduce you as well before we line up. This is our championship bout. We're doing intros. All right, Angel City, Hollywood Scarlets. Get ready to be introduced, and ladies and gentlemen, this is what it's for. This is what it's all about. This thing that looks like some sort of homemade prison weapon is the trophy that someone will be taking home tonight, be it Angel City or Rocky Mountain. All right, for the Harleywood Scarlets, we've got number 10, Duchess Von Dam. Number 11, B Train. Number 101, I'm a Blow Baya. Number 108, Fifi Nominon. Number 13, Snickerdoodle. Number 16, Chica Go Lightning, number 166, Shiv. Number 30, it's Recky. Number 360, it's Chrissy Crash. Number 507, Rachel Rotten. Number 617, Ghetto Fabulous. Number 78, Brawl Stanley. Number 8, Breakfast. And number 95, Tyra Shanks. Ladies and gentlemen, your Angel City Hollywood Scarlets. And now, ladies and gentlemen, coming in is your number one seed from Denver, Colorado, the 5280 Fight Club. Number 10, Robo Flow. Number 202, Frida Peter. Number three, Catholic Cruel Girl. Number 30, Radai. Number 31, Fiona Grapple. Number 37, Blah, blah, blah. Number 378, Toxic Tunic. Number 422, Gay Gun. Number 74, 23, Triple Shot Misto. Number M80, Sweet Mary Payne. Number 86, Assault and Peppa. Number 88, She Who Cannot Be Named. Number 99, Amanda Jaminia. And number 99, make you pay. Tonic, 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 tonic. What I say? What I say? Tunic. Tunic. She's not a tunic. She's tonic. And apparently that's my bad. I'm gonna get beat up. You're gonna get beat up at the after party, ladies uh, and gentlemen. We came in with the number one and two seed. They've had two days of battling it out. They are down to the wire. My name is Chip Queso, and I'm proud to be joined by Surge. Well, it's an honor to have you, Chip Queso, uh, rejoining the Dust Devil crew since year one for the Dust Devil. This guy's been around and one of the oldest and founding members of what we call the World of Roller Derby right now. Ghetto Fabulous trying to break through that Rocky Mountain wall right off the jammer line. I think we've seen that before, Chip. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. As we start early, fa fast and furious, slow, controlled. It is a triple shot. Misto is your lead jammer. Ooh, huge pileup after turn number three. That was Chrissy Crash for Angel City. Involved in that. Serge, as I said, a long weekend. I wish we could get started once again come Monday, <laughs> but it culminates into this, the number one and two seed. You could not ask for more. No, this is this is how it's been ordained, and the seeding proves it. These Both these teams have earned these positions. Only one's going away with the trophy, and Triple Shot Misto calls off the jam. After picking up another five, or a five, that is... Five to zero, Rocky Mountain already getting a little bit of a lead. First grand slam early on in this, in their first bout up against Rage City. They had 73 grand slams. Oh my God. I do not expect that to happen today, but it would be awesome if both teams got that. <laughs> yeah, yes it would. 
He'll break all kinds of records. Toxic Tonic sometimes wears tunics. <laughs> Apparently, she's the jammer for RMRG. She's going up against Fifi Nominon for Angel City, and Fifi was really getting the business in the back of the pack, but she shakes it off and gets lead jammer. Fifi Nominon with beautiful feet work, footwork all weekend, foot and feet work. <laughs> in control, second jam for Angel City. Yeah, Fifi Nominon is appropriate na appropriately named because she has been phenomenal this entire weekend as she spins to the inbounds and calls off the jam. And that puts some points on the board for Angel City. Five to three, still in Rocky Mountain's favor. Already a close game. 27 minutes, 30 seconds to go, plus another 30 in period number two. As we here are here at jam number three, sweet Mary Payne for RMRG. She's going up against the number 95. That's Tyra Shanks for Angel City. Sweet Mary looked like she was about to break on the outside, and she got held up by some blockers and broke through the middle. Your lead jammer. One player in the penalty box for Angel City. Full compliment for... Rocky Mountain is making it through RMR, for RMRG. It's Sweet Mary Payne with a grand slam. Down goes Tyra Shanks. She is facing four blockers on the Rocky Mountain side and cannot make any progress through them. She keeps getting knocked down and another big hit in turn number four. And it looks like she gets a major Forearm, she is going to the penalty box. She relinquishes the lead jammer status. The only jammer on the floor left, of course, is number 95, Tyra Shanks for Angel City. That's right, but so far, Tyra hasn't even be a been able to break through that Rocky Mountain line. And, oh, a beautiful <laughs> hit by Amanda Jammin' in you. Knocking Tyra Shanks out of bounds. Oh, but that's going to give her a major penalty. Amanda sits in the penalty box through for her initial pass. Finally, as Tyra Shanks already laboring a little bit of tiredness, gets knocked down again right by the whiteboard surge. Yeah, a well-timed hit on Tyra Shanks. Sends her to the floor on the inbounds again. They are really beating her up in this jam. Looks like that was Fiona Grapple knocking to the inside. Tyra Shanks, but she still makes it through, scoring a grand slam, bringing that up to eight to 10 here early on in period number one. All right, picking up a full five right before the whistle. Getting it done for Rocky Mountain. Wow, five points by Tyra Shanks. Then immediately out of the penalty box, as her defense held Tyra Shanks, her being uh, Sweet Mary Payne comes through for a grand slam, bringing it up to 15-11, going into jam number four. Chica go lightning on the line for Angel City. And that is number 74-23, uh, triple shot Misto. Her second jam rotation her second lead jam for the Fight Club. Yeah, she gets through pretty easy. Chica still held up at the back of the pack. And this is what we've been seeing for Rocky Mountain all weekend, is their incredible defense, and what a hit, knocking Chica go lightning. That was Brawl Stanley, number 78, scoots to the back of the pack, makes triple shot, have to re-engage from the back, and now there's a three wall set up by the Angel City defense allowing their jammer through, but only the initial pass for Angel City. That's right. There was a full five on that last pass for triple shot Misto. Third grand slam so far for RMRG. 20 to 12. Ladies and gentlemen, early on, how about this action between the number one and two seeds?
Coming up to the line for Angel City, we got number 108, Fifi Nominon. She's going against 378, Toxic Tonic of Rocky Mountain. Full complement for Angel City. One in the box for RMRG. Stout wall, and when I say stout, Angel City as a team is stout, and they stoutly allow offensively to get through is Fifi Nominon. Well, you know, it, it seems that when it comes to Fifi Nominon, no matter what kind of defense is put up, she finds a way through it. Both jammers through and eligible to score points. In control, the ladies in gold and red accents. Look at that score. Look how close it is. Only four points separate these teams right now. 20 to 16 in favor of Rocky Mountain. A low scoring, very close game so far. Yeah, absolutely. As we head into jam number six, 22 minutes and change left here in this period number one. Ghetto fabulous up to the line for Angel City. Once again, triple shot Misto for RMRG. Back wall controlled by RMRG, front wall by Angel City. Pack strong out, they gotta let her go. She gets lead jam. Had to do that, you know, once you get past that 20 feet, you gotta let her go. That's right. And Ghetto Fabulous breaks free on her own. Again, 78 Brawl Stanley doing all she can against the jammers, forcing her to slow down, forcing her to call it off, but still scoring two points for RMRG. You know, it's interesting that both these teams have a very similar strategy that they have employed throughout the weekend. Uh, both teams vying for that jammer line and looking to put their blockers up first closest to the jammer Stra similar strategy versus similar strategy here yeah there's no doubt that uh props to all the teams here the dust devil but the upper echelon is simply the upper echelon and that's not only only athleticism but it's strategy and it's planning and adjustments now we've got frida beater for the first time on the line for rmrg that's right and she could go lightning fighting desperately to get through the back of that pack Frida Bita getting beat up by that three wall, which includes Chrissy Crash. And a number 166 Shiv making it through, but not lead jammer for a minor track cut. That designation of lead is still eligible, Surge. That's right. If Chica going lightning can get through clean. She gets through, oh yeah, she gets through clean. She's lead jammer and quickly calls it off. Very smart play by Chica Go Lightning. Except for calling it off at that point, five points already awarded for RMRG. Called it off, not sure what to do there, whether you continue going, try to skate out the jam, let your defense do the, uh, the work on the second rotation. But that's why we announce and we don't coach. Yeah, It's up to the teams, they're gonna line it up in jam number eight. Well, you know, the clock, either your enemy or your friend, and oftentimes will determine when a jammer needs to call off the jam. Right now we've got Robo Flow for, I should, I'm sorry, Robo Flow for Rocky Mountain. Up against Safifi, who got her major cut Going to the, the box, so it's going to be a power jam for Robo Flow. No lead jam awarded as of yet. No designation has been called, and yes, there it is. She is your lead jammer. Some tells me she's not going to want to call this off. Holy triple shot, Misto. She's one of my favorite new jammers of this tournament. Except that's RoboFlow. <laughs> Could they be twinsies? <laughs> you can you can still like triple shot me, though. No one's telling you you can't. Triple shot, you're still my fave. All right, four points on that last pass for RoboFlow. Once again, nice work by Brawl Stanley. Outstanding defense so far in this bout by her. 
There's no doubt. Nice pack control up at the front of the pack by Angel City. Slowing down RoboFlow, exactly what they need to do during her power jam. Five point grand slam for RoboFlow. 166 oh. shift goes to the penalty box for Angel City. A beautiful hit on Fifi. Nominon sends her to the floor, and they are really giving her the business. But that, that was, was toxic, tonic, <laughs> and uh, make you pay. Woo! Where are those Rocky Mountain fans in this house? Do we got any Angel City lovers here? That's right, people. This is the battle for first and second place. And we're not even halfway through period one. 17 minutes and 13 seconds remain. 41 to 16 in favor of Rocky Mountain. That score is very deceiving here from the action on the track. And speaking of action back at the track, we have Tyra Shanks up against Triple Shot Misto. Yeah, and Tyra Shanks having the hardest time negotiating that back of the pack defense that Rocky Mountain is so famous for. Still looking to make her first pass. Meanwhile, she who cannot be named is off to the oh. penalty box. Oh, nice ref Tri takeout. Triple Shot Misto. It's a major back block. We need an EMT it's to the center of the track, please. I don't think that has anything to do with the referee takeout.
So as we've mentioned all weekend, we appreciate very much our EMTs and our medical staff taking care of the skaters, getting out to them quickly. With such a fast, furious sport, injuries are bound to happen. We wish the best for Triple Shot. She is being attended to. This is something we're not unaccustomed to seeing in three-day tournaments by the third day. Um, bodies are really strained. They've been playing games for three days in a row, and this is, this is the day when injuries really start to pile up. Triple shot being lifted in the chair. I will, I'm sure she wants to know how much you love her. Big round of applause for Triple Shot Misto. She is being escorted off. You're still my fave, Triple Shot. Still my fave. Much respect, she's been amazing so far. She had gained lead jam in all four jams that she had been in. She's been a devastating jammer for Rocky Mountain all weekend. Now, to get back to the seriousness of the bout, right before she went down, she got a major back block. Obviously, she cannot serve that time in the box. Rocky Mountain now has a jammer in the box to replace her, which means Jamming unopposed will be Angel City. That's right, and if there's one jammer from Angel City you don't want on a power jam against you, that's Fifi Nominon, the Phenomenon. Fifi Nominon, probably one of the awesomest names in Derby. Well, she definitely lives up to it. And look at her taking on Rocky Mountain's defense and having no problem with it, or at least a little problem. 16 to 44, a little bit of an uphill battle of which Fifi is great at doing the uphill. See if she can battle through and score some points. She gets four points there. Does not get the fifth point, but does score four. Well, these are the type of opportunities that Angel City is gonna need to capitalize on to get back up in this game. There's that thumb, nine points so far, two passes, as we've got number 10. That is Duchess Von Dam going to the penalty box for Angel City. Oh. oh, just as she gets through, there goes the back blocking call on Fifi Nominon. And guess what? Somebody's going to get set free. That replacement jammer for triple shot is Toxic Tonic. She makes it away. Her initial pass around Chrissy Crash, Sprawl Stanley. And Shiv out there for Angel City. Oh. Chrissy Crash with a crashing jammer takedown. Yeah, that was beautiful. Yet, a, yet another four points picked up by Toxic Tonic on that last pass. She zips right around them and picks up a full five. Oh, what the penalties do. Fifi got nine points, but that's already been matched by Toxic Tonic. Tries to jump the apex, does not make that. The jam is called. We're at 53 to 25. She tried to jump the apex, or as we say here, a Bangkok chili dog, but she picks up a back blocking call and she's going to be sitting out. Once again, that is good news for Angel City as Ghetto Fabulous comes up to the line to take her revenge. Correction, it's 29 to 53 as we have back in the penalty box, Toxic Tonic. I did not see the infraction, but she went back to the penalty box. So second jam in a row, Angel City jamming unopposed. Looks like it was a major cut. That's right, Angel City, you have lead jammer. Courtesy of Ghetto Fabulous. From the ghetto, <laughs> living in the ghetto. She could go lightning, hits the penalty box. And Ghetto Fabulous taking on four Rocky Mountain blockers. 
Minor. Buy her own some and loan some. Sorry, Chip. No, that's fine. She got a minor track cut, but still on the track. Collecting minors, but getting five points is a major advantage for Angel City up against the juggernaut of Rocky Mountain. Despite that minor, she picks up a full five on that last pass. Helen Wheel screaming sit on it from the bench coach. All right. Ghetto Fabulous turns around and sees Toxic Tonic quickly coming to score points and calls off the jam uh, and perfect timing. I'm really impressed with Angel City's defense, even when they only had a couple players on the, on the track. Yeah, Jill Majaro, there's no doubt about it. They have come to play and play hard. Angel City, the Hollywood Scarlets, up against Rocky Mountain and the Fight Club. Sweet Mary Payne on the line for RMRG. She's going up against Tyra Shanks for Angel City. Both of these jammers have a little problem at the back of the pack, but it's on one skate and, uh, and bent over at an extreme degree. That was amazing. Sweet Mary Payne, that was cool. She got through the pack on the inside line, but just barely, and she's your lead jammer, Rocky Mountain. Tyra Shanks through, but Sweet Mary Plain playing defensively while she's looking at five fingers in oh, the air. Nice, and just a nice job of blocking her to the inbounds while she picks up a full five. Time is on the side of Rocky Mountain. She gets knocked in bounds and calls off the jam. Sweet Mary Payne. Ladies and gentlemen, we have $1 PBRs and $2 Dos Equis. Get them while they're cold. Mmm, cold beer for a dollar or two dollars. Those are tall boys too, huh? That's... They're ginormo. They're, they're jilly size. We appreciate All this. All right. We've got an official timeout for Angel City. Score is now 62 to 38. We, we've now coined jilly size. I, so amped. ACDG has got a succinct clapping fan system in turn number one. So they've got uh, number 16, Chica Go Lightning, lining up against number nine inches, Amanda Jamidinya. Is everyone else as excited as I am that she's wearing a jammer panty? OMG. I mean, jam it in ya. Yeah, she is. Yeah. And she's a real, t all these girls are real tough cookies. They break a lot of hearts like the one in me. Okay, I'll stop. Thank you. We Thank you. Please stop. Sweet God, Chip. Sweet God. One blocker in the box for RMRG. Amanda Jaminini up to the front of the pack, trying to get past the two wall. Oh, she gets taken down from behind, then gets taken down again. Players all up, bodies on the track. Showing her versatility, Amanda Jaminini, your lead jammer. Chica out and eligible to score points, but yet in control is Amanda Jamininia. She gets taken out by number 10, Duchess Von Dam, calls off the jam. It's about to get crazy, guys. I got three drinks going on right now. Oh, yeah. We'd like to give a cheers to all the fans.
Yeah, the skaters have to be here, but these fans, you must be nuts three Wait. days in a row. Wait, nuts. why is it that we have the best job in Derby? Because we're Derby junkies. We get to drink all day. <laughs> okay. All right. Number 95, Tyra Shanks for AC Angel City, but your lead jammer is Sweet Mary Payne. I'm starting to know why she has that name. Oh, Sweet Mary Payne. Good Lord. <laughs> Knocking out Tyra Shanks as she passes her. That was legally unlegal legal. <laughs> Holy cow. We felt that up here. Cray cray. Sweet, sweet Mary Payne, are you a jammer or a blocker? That was amazing. And picks up the full five, of course. What a, what a pretty wall of red and gold there in the back. Where can Sweet Mary Payne go? Nowhere. Nowhere. Two blockers off simultaneous make you pay and Robo Flow go to the penalty box. Also, the jammer Sweet Mary Payne for a major back block. Back block. Thank you. And Gay Gun also to the penalty box. There is no seat for her. She has to make her way around. There is only one currently on the track for RMRG. Not a lot that she can do, but she <laughs> did. And what she could do, but it is an improper pass. She went out of bounds, so it's improper. Oh, oh. it's a no points because of a track cut. Yep. I'm mm. confused. Well, it looked like she knocked her out of bounds, but she jumped back in ahead of her. Well, at first it was signaled as an uh, improper pass. Then it was signaled as a minor track cut. Just don't overthink it, Chip. Don't yeah. overthink it. Now she got another cut. She'll be, uh, Tyra Shanks will be sitting in the penalty box. Cutting, cutting, cutting. I can't say enough about the awesomeness Ambient DJ, DJ, uh, DJ what? Chris the, of Death. The Chris of Death. The Chris of Death. He's the curse of awesome ear sounds. <laughs> Word. All right, the whistle has blown. We're back into the action. And Sweet Mary Payne, do we have a lead jammer for Rocky Mountain? Single handedly, no doubt. Actually, her third lead jammer in the last four jams, part of that care of a penalty. That's why she's been in so much. She also had a grand slam, as you just witnessed. Oh. Nice Angel City defense in the front of the pack, putting a, a slowdown to Sweet Mary Payne, but she shakes him off and picks up another five. Like, hey, you know what? I'll just. Head out to the store and pick up another Grand Slam. How about that? Tyra Maybe. Shanks out of the penalty box and through quickly, but not before it can be called off by Sweet Mary Payne. Seventy-six to forty-three in favor of Rocky Mountain. And we only have five minutes and 50 seconds left in period one. Who loves roller derby out there? Have you had enough yet or do you want three more days? More, give me more, give <laughs> yeah. me more roller derby. Uh, I love you psychotic people. All right, number 16, Chica Go Lightning is gonna be jamming for Angel City. And Chica free to beat her for Rocky Mountain. What? Chicago. Chicago Lightning. Oh. Wow. Oh. Wow, Julie. Wow. <laughs> I just got that. Meanwhile, free to beat her, your lead jammer for the Rocky Mountain Roller Girls. I feel like I participated in your epiphany, like, secondhand. I don't know. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Five in the sky for Frida Vita. She makes it look so easy. She could go lightning getting caught up 
once again in that Rocky Mountain scrum, oh. knocked to the inbounds. <laughs> and round the outside, round the outside goes Frida Vita, amazeballs. Yep, Bob Lobla doing a, a single-handed job at keeping Chica Go Lightning at bay. Again, what are, are we at four? Are we at four? I can't count. It's four, right? Wow. It's five. Really Look for the thumb. Five. Well, well, four times around. She's gotten four of those five. <laughs> that's why we have you up here, Jilly, to do the math. That's what that's what I do. That's that's what I do. Oh. Passing the final blocker and calling it off. All right, beautiful job. Bye. Can we all give a friendly wave to a salt and Peppa? Probably the most underrated blocker in the history of Derby. You are so amazing. A salt and Peppa. I love you. All right, we have an official timeout on the track. But as it stands right now, 90 to 43 with just a few minutes remaining in period number one and Rocky Mountain slowly increasing this lead. But not insurmountable by any stretch, 90 to 43. It only takes uh, some defensive magic, a few great slam, uh, grand slam jams by Angel City and they're right back in it. It can be a tale of two periods, as we've been talking about all day. One team might win the first period, but the other team just has to win the second period by one more point. Yep, we've seen it all weekend long. Some incredible comebacks from teams that were way behind by period one and period two, a whole different story. Tyra Shanks jamming for Angel City. She's going up against Sweet Mary Payne for Rocky Mountain. Sweet Mary Payne with some sweet footwork makes Lee Jammer a common thing for herself. That's right, Tyra Shanks gets through that pack. Chrissy Crash in there trying to do damage, forcing to get up front so they can form a wall up against Sweet Mary Payne. Chrissy Crash forming the uh, <laughs> call off, but four points. Remember, you get points all the way through the four rapid whistles. That's right. You got to be quick with that tap. Tap, tap, tap. Crazy. All right. We, we, speaking of taps, I see the tapping of the shoulders for the official timeout. Chrissy Crush had a crazy look in her eye. Did you guys see that? She's like, I am Amazon. Ah. Beautiful. We'd like to thank Simply Bits for sponsoring our jam line and for installing our internet for this entire event. Simply Bits, your internet solution. And standing on this Simply Bits jammer line is number 108, BP Nominon. She's going up against 378 of Rocky Mountain Toxic Tonic. Be in Have to the announcer's table, please. Be in Have and or Mystery Me to the announcer's table, please. Oh, we do. So while we've got a timeout, we've got a little bit of a computer malfunction as Toxic Tonic is showing how her jersey could be a tunic, which is what I mistakenly called her in her warm-ups. <laughs> I think that's a good look there, Toxic. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, you are witnessing the beauty of roller derby as fast and furious as it is on the track. It's about how the teams and how everybody interacts. It's not just a sport. It's not just a lifestyle, ladies and gentlemen. It's a family. That's right, and everyone here that's part of the Derby family knows wherever you go, you find a Derby person, you got family. 
Looks like we caught both Angel City and Rocky Mountain. Look like they are lining up for some intentional fourth minors, which Chip Queso has informed to me has been changed from poodles to cougars. And why is that, Chip? They've been changed from poodles to cougars because, of course, she's getting her fourth intentional minor. <laughs> I love in the intentional minor part. But we have a equipment malfunction, and it looks like we're uh, having a problem with the jam clock timer. So do not pay attention to the jam clock timer. We're going to be doing it old school. Fingers, thumbs, toes, a stopwatch, and an abacus. I thought there was a sundial. It doesn't woof to require yes. a sundial in that. There is a sundial. Here we go. Three minutes and 15 seconds is also not correct. Our two Cougars have already taken a seat, but right. still standing on the jam line, we've got Toxic Tonic going up against Fifi Nominon. And uh, time stands still, so do, so do the skaters. Well, Like uh, sands in the hourglass. <laughs> yeah. Not, not a favorite among fans, but the clock is definitely in Rocky Mountain's favor. So running it down. There we go. Movement happens. Fifi Nominon, Toxic Tonic. And look at the incredible defensive work. Thank you, Gagan and friends, keeping Fifi Nominon at the back of the pack and allowing, look at that, another Rocky Mountain lead. Courtesy of Toxic Tonic. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna get so beat up. Phi Phenomenon is through the pack. And Toxic Tonic takes her time and calls off the jam. Rocky Mountain looking to put as many points between them and Angel City before the end of this period. Everybody here quite aware of the second period comeback. And they want to buy some insurance. She who cannot be named up to the line for Rocky Mountain going up against Tyra Shanks for Angel City. Both jammers almost completely still in the beginning of the jam, but Shihu is making more progress than Tyra Shanks, fighting her way through that Angel City wall. She does it, she's your lead jammer. Shihu can be named lead jammer, first time on the jam line. Meanwhile, Tyra Shanks having to resurface from the back of the pack in control, RMRG. Getting sent to the penalty box number 10, Duchess Von Dam. For Angel City, five points for Shihu. And Shihu blows right through that pack again, picks up another full five. And this is just what Rocky Mountain wants in the final minutes of this game. Blowing it wide open, giving him as much of a lead for period two as they can. And it looks like a fourth minor is being called on. That's on the far side of the track. We can't see that well. Uh, uh, what we can see is the five points by Shihu and number 95, Tyra Shanks, going to the penalty box. Shihu up against the three remaining blockers for Angel City. And Angel City putting up a good fight right now. Shihu having a tough time getting through them in turn number one. Ooh, almost gets the outside line, but she's out of bounds. Re enters behind him. And the pivot for Angel City gets a out of play penalty. Meanwhile, fifth grand slam for Shihu. And that was some smart play by. Rocky Mountain as they held back to get that out of play penalty. And it looks like we are at halftime. We'll uh, get some correct math here. 
I believe it is 132 to 47. 133 to 47. I was off by a point and apparently four names. We have a lost iPhone. If all the teams can please wait, we're going to do a halftime presentation. All the teams, please wait. Rocky Mountain, Angel City, please wait. If you can tell me the background picture of your iPhone, you get it back. Otherwise, I keep it. Hey, Rocky Mountain, if you guys can stick around, we're going to do some MVP awards real quick. And uh, we just wanted to do some uh, tournament awards here. We got team MVPs, and then we got Angel City and Rocky Mountain sitting in the back. So uh, we'll go for AZRD first. Would Lose Chaos please make your way to the track, please? The team players and team captains of each of the teams here at the tournament have decided to make you the MVP, their choice for AZRD. or some type of AZRD representative in her place. There we go, Lose Chaos, everybody. For Assassination City, we got Lickety. Where are you at, Lickety? All right, here we go. That's MVP for Assassination City. For Pacific, can we get Kaleidoscope out here? Kaleidoscope for Pacific. Lickety! And for Pikes Peak Derby Dames, Camilla Bloodspiller! And for Rage City, Lil Red Vet! Come on out here and track. And for Silicon Valley, Smack Dahlia. And all of these gifts are donated by Robert Sanders Glass. So uh, enjoy those. Those are awesome, awesome prizes. And for our very own Tucson, we had a three-way tie between Lindsay Loblo, Dirty Duchess, but it goes to Juana Chingasso. And for the Aussies, Victoria Roller Derby League, Kitty Decapitate. And then for the whole tournament, most valuable jammer, Lose Chaos. And then for the tournament most, and then for the tournament most valuable blockers, we got three of them. The number three was Amanda Jaminania. She spotted Rocky. She'll be hanging out back. Number two is Hockey Honey of AZRD. And number one was Joy Collision of AZRD. We have something for you. Come see Duchess and uh, she'll give it to you. That's what she said. And then uh, since they're still hanging out in the back, for Angel City, it's going to be Tyra Shanks. And for Rocky Mountain, it's Sweet Mary Payne. So everyone, those are your MVP award winners for Dust Devil Tournament. Thank you guys so much.
We appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for everything that you did and coming on out. And we also got a presentation for uh, Helen Wheels whenever she comes out for Rocky Mountain. So uh, stick, stand by, and we will get that going when she comes on out. Yeah, Tyra Shanks. You were voted most, uh, Tyra Shanks, you were voted most valuable player as by the captains and teams of everyone here. I still have a lost iPhone at the announcer table. If you can tell me what the picture is in the back, I will give it back to you. Yeah, so we want to make sure everybody sticks around here at the culmination of this game. We've got all kinds of free stuff to give away via raffles. I'm not sure how much time we have left before we get started. Again, as we had a equipment malfunction, adjustment on the score, halftime score 129, RMRG 47, Angel City. Okay, so we've got 10 minutes left in the half. Jill, let's give away some stuff. All right, you I'm about to stuff? look in the box of awesome here. Is everybody ready? So, here, why don't you grab the, uh, we're going to do this. So listen up for your name. We need to make this quick. We've got great stuff from several of the vendors out there. All right, no looky, no looky. I'm reaching in the bag and what out pops the name. I have a beautiful purse from Charming Charlie. And the winner of this awesomeness is Angel City Roller Derby, Reckless and Dangerous. Reckless and Dangerous, you have just won a new purse. Yeah, Reckless and Dangerous, on, make down. your way. Come on down. A, isn't it ACD? Assassination City. Here, oh, ACRD. The handwriting is horrible on this. Assassination City Roller Derby. Reckless and dangerous. You have just won a purse. A new t shirt. Courtesy of Paps Blue Ribbon. Sweet Mary Payne of the Rocky Mountain Roller Girls. Yeah. Pikes Peak Derby Dames, Russian Bride. You have won a Paps Blue Ribbon tank top. Come on down. Hey. A Paps Blue Ribbon tank top.
courtesy of Derby Love, Silicon Valley Roller Girls, Tennessee Smitten. Come on down and get your t-shirt, courtesy of Derby Love. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, listen up for your name. Trying to give away some swag. From QT Jewelry, we have Silicon Valley Roller Girls, Laura. Laura, from the Silicon Valley Roller Girls, you have won some swag. From Arizona Roller Derby, Ginger Reeking Havoc. You have won some awesome stuff. From Tucson Roller Derby, Xanaduel. You have won a package from QT Jewelry, Quasimodo. Again, from Tucson Roller Derby. This isn't rigged, guys, I swear. Judo know me. You have received swag from PBR. From Pikes Peak Derby Dames, Pepper Slay. You have received swag from the Quasimodo Sisters, Pepper Slay. From the VRDL, Skate Bush. You've won some swag. Carol, Pepper, swag. Pepper's right here. Pepper's right here. Hold on. Uno momento. I yes. From Angel City Roller Derby, Slayer Delilah. You've won some swag. Assassination City, these are the same. This is horrible. They're like, no, that's not us. Assassination City, I apologize. Swag prizes will continue in a moment. Everyone stand by. Hey everybody, I'm Dirty Duchess, the captain of the Two Song Saddle Tram. Uh, is there a Miss Helen Wheels in the house? She's pretty busy, but so that all of you can hear, we're gonna call her up in just a second while she's working. But Two Song Roller Derby has been honored and blessed to have Helen Wheels as a member and skater from 2007 to 2012. She has decided to move on to other opportunities. She started off her derby career with AZRD. During her tenure, she has left us with some amazing experiences and we thank her. Congratulations, Helen. We'll miss you and we have something to honor to you. We appreciate you. I think she still doesn't know we're talking about her. She's so busy doing stuff. Now she gets it. We love you, Helen Wheels. All right, more swag to give away. What do we got here? From QT Jewelry, Mad Melarina of the Victory Hey folks, Hurt Reynolds here. Uh, tournament has uh, encountered a problem with the scoreboard software. 
we're, uh, it's likely that we are not going to be able to continue to have the score overlay. Uh, I'm going to ask the house announcers to try and mention the score a few times during the half. We're doing everything we can to try and put it back together, but you may have to get through the second half without that score and time overlay. Right now, uh, at halftime, the score is Rocky Mountain 129, Angel City 47. We've got about two and a half minutes left in halftime, and uh, we'll be back to the action shortly. You won stuff. <laughs> this isn't Swish Caraboom. Come pick up your swag. Swish Caraboom. All right, looks like we're about to get started here. We've got more swag to go. I've got one. Where's Hockey Honey? Hockey Honey, you've also won something. We'll get it to her. Also, also Catholic Cru Cruel Girl has won something. They're starting. We'll get back to that in a little bit. Getting back to the action on the track, lining up right now for a power jam is she who cannot be named. Looks like we've got the clock issues corrected. 129 to 47, like you said, she who can be declared lead jammer for Rocky Mountain. Kicking off period two, Rocky Mountain with the lead, 129 to 47. We're gonna sit here and see if Angel City is gonna make a breakout comeback. Four points for Sihu. Meanwhile, Tyra Shanks oh. getting taken down from Amanda Jamininia and Gagan <laughs> for RMRG. Tyra Shanks looks determined. She's got the speed she needs, but called off by Shihu. I love, I love the signs by the audience. If the fans will hold up their signs again so we can read them. What do we have? AJ number nine, Shihu will knock you down every time. And then we have <laughs> Choo Choo to P train. train. <laughs> I want to get on the P train. I don't even know what that means. And we've got a guy holding up a picture on his phone of apparently something we don't know. <laughs> Yo, we cannot see your iPhone from this distance, Brett. But what we can see is jam number two and a lead jam for Angel City. And of course, that's number 617, a Ghetto Fabulous. That's right, Ghetto Fabulous looking to decrease this point differential between these two teams. And possibly retake a lead. As she who apparently went to the penalty box right at the very end. We were so worried about the signs from the fans. We didn't see what happened. Four points for Angel City. One point negated because of a minor track cut. And Ghetto comes to a full stop to take on this Rocky Mountain wall. She's going to do it. She gets through. And that time it will be the full five. And this is exactly what Angel City was looking for. Nice! Oh. On her tiptoe, staying in bounds on the inside. And always looking ghetto fabulous. And we've got Robo Flow as the jammer for RMRG. And she is coming into a nice wall of Angel City, giving a, a taste of RoboFlow, giving a, a, her a taste of their own medicine. Ghetto Fabulous calls off the jam and... Looks like right there at the end of the jam, a direction of play penalty. 
That's on Toxic Tonic. I mistakenly said she who is in the penalty box, but it was RoboFlow who is back on the jam line. Apparently, I'm just old and confused. It's been a long weekend, Chip. You're forgiven. That was a 17-point jam back there by Ghetto Fabulous to really put some more points on the board for Angel City, 133-64, to 64, but still in Rocky Mountain's hands. Fifi doing great work as she makes it through. Something on the track got uh, thrown. I don't know what that is, but RoboFlow, me, I mean, sorry, uh, Fifi Nominon is your lead jammer. Well, Chip, you know, we've been talking about the reversal of fortune for period number two all weekend long. We saw Angel City getting the business in the corner from their coaches, and I think it had an effect here. We, we are seeing a new Angel City. Yeah, absolutely. Meanwhile, Brawl Stanley for Angel City goes to the penalty box. But offensively, they're doing a great job. Speaking of a great job, the defense for Fight Club still not giving up with a jammer takedown as we head into jam number 20. Tyra Shanks coming up to the line for Angel City. Up against Sweet Mary Payne. I, I am still in, so impressed with that hit that Sweet Mary Payne laid out. Oh, this is interesting. Lee Jam RMRG. Correction, we are at jam number four, period number two, day number three. <laughs> That's all the numbers that I can uh, successfully say. Oh, oh, a huge jammer takedown. Tyra Shanks tries to force a cut, but she went down. She literally bounced off of Sweet Mary Payne like a little Super Bowl. Tyra Shanks held up at the back of the pack now. That RMG defense. Looking strong. Five point grand slam for RMRG. Yeah, it looks like Rocky Mountain said comeback. I don't think so. Oh, if you leave an inch between the inside line, Rocky Mountain will take a mile. And by that, I mean another grand slam for Sweet Mary Payne. I believe that is three grand slams thus far for Sweet Mary Payne. She gets grand slams so many times, I've just lost count. Brawl Stanley back to the penalty box. And we've got a major forearm on Tyra Shanks. RMRG with a power jam. That's right, Sweet Mary Payne just racking up those points like there's no tomorrow. There she goes again through the pack and um, again with a grand slam. Amanda jamming in you coming in there at the end and taking out two skaters. Heard her super speedy polka dot backside coverings. And we've got an official timeout. Are you guys officially having a good time here? That's right, Sweet Mary Payne with that 29-point jam, putting Rocky Mountain even further ahead. 162 to 72 so far. Yeah. Free to beat her. Looking to put the beat down herself on Angel City. Also, ladies and gentlemen, before you leave tonight, go purchase a copy of the DVD of The Dust Devil 2012 and take it home and make other roller derby girls jealous. Say, eh, that's me right there. 
Really cool stuff we've been filming all weekend long. You can take it home, analyze your game, or just drink beer to it. But we've got them for sale up near the entrance of the venue. Get your DVD of the Dust Devil before you leave. And before you leave, we'd like to see you at Club Congress tonight for the after party. And I'm interested out there, are there any teams in here that think they're gonna win the after party tonight? I think there's only one and they're over there. I can't see who they are, but. Is that yeah. Victoria? Oh, oh boy. The, you're gonna, the you're Aussies gonna, have put up the challenge. You're going to put up, we'll see on the dance floor. I love me some Southern Hemisphere, but Tucson's going to rock the after party. Speaking Josiah. of rock, you know what I rock? I love rocking the Frida Bita, who is the lead jammer for RMRG. And five in the sky again for Frida Beater, making it look easy. Apparently all those animalistic noises B-Train was making pre-jam yeah, like have not cramped RMRG's style. And she certainly does make animalistic noises. Speaking of making noise, five more points for Frida Beater. Frida Beater makes me say hallelujah and shake my hands up in the air, up and down really fast, like this. 172 to 72, 100 points separating these teams now. And another full five, just as we say that, for free to beat a. Tyra Shanks came through, fell down through the apex, unfortunately caused another player to fall. That is a low block major, unintentional Regardless, it is a minute in the box. That's Chicago Lightning. Oh, and then we've got a penalty on, looks like Brawl Stanley. Five points, meanwhile, for Frida Bita. Brawl Stanley has, has been doing outstanding defensively through this game and through the whole weekend, but She's in danger. She's been racking up a lot of penalties. And that is the end of the jam. Rocky Mountain beautifully just separating the last two players of Angel City. That was a textbook lesson in how to get two players apart. Nicely done, Rocky Mountain. Nicely done. Only two on the track for Angel City. Three blockers for RMRG, wearing the star is Toxic Tonic for RMRG. Makes it around the outside, untouched, before she even hits the pivot line. Yeah, Rocky Mountain makes it look easy. That was textbook, textbook, beautiful. Oh! Oh! But taking no. advantage of the two blockers they have with a beautiful hit. By I'm a blow by ya. Toxic Tonic with a major back block. She's smiling. She tried to make a trackside snow angel, but that wasn't good enough. <laughs> Tyra Shanks screaming back into the game. Oh, nice. Whoa. <laughs> I, that was like that was like boxing or something. I've, Muhammad Ali footwork of Tyra Shanks. Float like a butterfly, sing like a bee. Pretty well, and of course, jamming. you know, Tyra Shanks, she can take a shiv down the runway every day of the week. <laughs> that, that sounds like a videotape I have at home. Uh, RMG did not want that to happen again. They uh, put a stop to the Tyra Shanks momentum and now are getting that pack moving. Huge hit out there. Oh, Amanda jamming in you with a jamma takedown. Five points being scored. Meanwhile, out of the box for Toxic Tonic. 
You know, that's uh, another tactic that we've been seeing RMG pull as they get their jammer out of the box. Boom. Grand slam within seconds. And there's another one right before the whistle. That's going to take our score up to 197 to 81. Rocky Mountain. Just under 18 minutes left in period number two. This is the final period of this bout and of the tournament. People, do you love roller derby? She who cannot be named. She's going up against Ghetto yeah. Fabulous of Angel City. Round the outside, round the outside. She Cur who cannot be named. Ghetto Courtesy Fa of Frida Beater. What beautiful defense up front. Angel City looking to take control of the front of the pack. Yeah, Chrissy Crash trying to hold it down with Duchess Von Dam. But that jam is called. Still 17 minutes to go here. Period number two. S Surge, Jilimanjaro, 201 to 81. It doesn't feel anywhere close to that. No, it doesn't look no. like that out on the track, that's for sure. There is so much anger going on and <laughs> beautifulness on the track. This, this, this score just does not reflect the intensity that we see right now on the track from these two teams. You know, one of the reasons the score does look the way it does is that between the two teams, the team that capitalizes off the penalties of the other team the best seems to be Rocky Mountain right here. When they get the power jam, it is grand slam after grand slam. And when Angel City has been getting the power jam, yes, they've been doing well certain times, but even with a couple of blockers, RMG has been putting a stop to their power jams. Abs Amanda jamming in you with a devastating blow. Meanwhile, <laughs> Robo Flow is your <laughs> lead jammer. Amanda jamming in you got knocked down. She is upset. Yeah, she did not look happy. Five points being scored as RoboFlow plays now defensively. RoboFlow turning on the cyborg. Yeah, RoboFlow making excellent work of the clock, but befalls her own efforts, and she she's probably going to wait till right about now. You didn't anticipate <laughs> that. Did you? N no, I didn't. As usual, smart play by Rocky Mountain. Getting to the halfway point of period number two. 15 minutes remain in this period and in this entire tournament, who is going to take this incredible looking trophy home? On the line, she who cannot be named Ghetto Fabulous. Oh, and Ghetto fights her way right to the front of the pack. Angel City fans, your team needs you. Nice on the inside around Amanda Jammin' in you. Four points called. Oh, beautiful footwork around the apex. Basically did a crossover jump over the apex. Great footwork by Ghetto. Two ten to 89 as we wind down closer and closer to the final seconds of this, the championship bout of Dust Devil 2012. Once again, the phenomenon, Fifi Nominon, up to the line for Angel City. She's going up against Toxic Tonic for Rocky Mountain. Really 
A beautiful hit by B Train. She's like, Jamma, Jamma, stay behind me. B Phenomenon living up to her name and getting that lead jammer. 89 to 210. 13 minutes left here in period number two as that jam is called off. Yeah, B Phenomenon very wisely stops Toxic Tonic from scoring any points. These teams being very conservative with their timeouts, which does not allow Serge and I and Jill Manjaro to give some props where due and discuss more things important like the after party. Important things, like where we're gonna drink. Exactly. It's, it's really about also who's gonna win. We've got some things to discuss. Okay, 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 all right, fine. Meanwhile, Number 31, Fiona Grapple, first time on the jam line for RMRG. She is up against number 16, which is Chico Go Lightning. Not a lead jam because of a minor infraction. Your lead jam is Fiona Grapple. She calls it off. Once again, we see Ghetto Fabulous taking the line for Angel City. She's going up against She, who cannot be named. Technically, that's a name. I mean, you know. Always good to see She who play, you know, Chip. She's been around forever. Yeah, so she, as long as we have. She is uh, obviously one of those veterans that uh, can continue to do what she needs to do for her team and for herself on the track. Oh, not heavy hitting in that pack, especially to Ghetto Fabulous, but does not deter Ghetto as she shakes off the final Rocky Mountain blockers, but it's all she who's world and we just live in it. That's a good world to live in. Yeah. Amen. I That jam is called off. And eked out one point for Rocky Mountain. At some point here, like I said, we'll give some shout outs, like a shout out for our tournament host. Let's hear for Tucson Roller Derby. Ah, uh, we couldn't do it without all the support of the Derby world and the fabulous teams that are here this weekend. Chica Go Lightning, number 16 millimeter for Angel City. Fiona Grapple is your lead jammer and donning the star, obviously, for RMRG. Meanwhile, Chrissy Crash headed to the penalty box. We're all shocked. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Fiona Grapple takes her points and goes home. As Ghetto Fabulous comes up to the line for Angel City. You want to do that one, Chip, for Rocky Mountain? <laughs> that is a toxic tonic. Day three. It's day three, guys. <laughs> Her favorite blouse is a tunic. <laughs> well, this is a very slow pack. They're off. Toxic Tonic making her way up to the front early. Shakes off the final two Angel City blockers, easily getting lead jammer. Oh, oh and we've got a major track cut on Ghetto. She's going to the penalty box. That is not going to help the efforts as Toxic 
makes her way through for five point grand slam for RMRG. And she just gently sidesteps around and picks up another full five. Rocky so Mountain really makes it look effortless. So casual, so casual. Jeans and a t-shirt kind of jamming. <laughs> I, I think I'm I know what that means. Either way, I love it. Yeah, Sheila Manjaro getting loose on us. Gotta love her. Cheers, guys, cheers. 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 <laughs> Toxic Tonic trying to get past one more, now two more, now three more. Does that. Angel City trying to force the call on the referees, but still five fingers on the hand. That's a grand slam for RMRG. Duchess Von Dam just screaming for that track cut, but the refs say, oh no. That's a Duchess Von Don't. A lot of whistles starting to, to be blown, and that's what we tend to see on the final day of play. We got an official timeout on the track, but penalties galore on the third day. That's typical. So we've got an official timeout. While we've got a second, let's give it up to teams like Rage City Roller Girls here. How about Pacific Roller Derby? How about Assassination City Roller Derby? How about Silicon Valley Roller Girls? How about Pikes Peak Derby Dames? How about the v, v Victorian Victoria! Roller Derby? Of course, we have AZRD. The Cinderella story of the tournament. We have Tucson Roller Derby. On the track, Angel City Derby Girls. And of course, Rocky Mountain. I don't, I don't think I forgot anybody, but once again, Tucson Roller Derby. <laughs> okay, so now while we've got time surge at Jilamanjaro, there has been a call out. It's been confirmed. Her Riddles already has a pick for the after party. Yeah. Are it, we going to let some Aussies win the after party? No. Are, are, are we? You, are you girls going to no. let a bunch of Australians come over and teach you how to drink no. No. and dance no. okay. and win an after party? Okay, let's not, let's not burn some bridges here. Okay, <laughs> okay. So Let's just reel it back in, reel it back in. I love me some Southern Hemisphere, okay? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Wait, the challenge okay. is out. Peace Her Riddles what? has something to say. Dude, I, I've been there. How many of you have been to Australia? I, I've been there. They're taking you all down. No contest. All right, her Reynolds Blast just issued me. the challenge to the every team. The gauntlet is down. I'm oh, an we'll see what can happen. I know there is some uh, booty shaking in the house. Derby, but, derby. There's derby going on, guys. Okay. But, but Focus. right now, Focus, we're please. back to the action. She who is on the track for RMRG. And she could go lightning for Angel City, who just got knocked down and is still in the back of the pack. She who picks up lead jammer. 2.33 to 92, six minutes and 30 seconds to go here in period number two, the culmination of an amazing weekend here in Tucson. Still six minutes and 23 seconds to go. She who looking at her, at her bench uh, and at, at the uh, refs and gently calls off the jam, checking her P's and Q's. I'm just amazed that we finally got Hurt Reynolds to talk to us. You know, Hurt Reynolds is notoriously good for his picks. Notorious. He is. He is. 
And that man can dirty dance like none other. Oh, well, I can tell by his pigtails that that dude gets down. So again, the gauntlet has been thrown. Will it be some Aussies or will it be some Texans or some Arizonans Which, or why, some Coloradoans? What's your problem, why Jilly? Can't we be or some New Mexicans? Why can't we be friends? <laughs> Jilly Manjaro letting the hippie roots show through Dude, with their peace and love. you want some patchouli? Because I got it going on. Got this it going sport, on. This sport was founded by hard-ass punk rock. Knock her down her. So. Hey, you can't dance in Birkenstocks. <laughs> I haven't brushed my hair in weeks. Meanwhile, stuff is happening on the track. Uh, we've got a low block penalty by Frida Beater. She's like, damn, I know I did that. Robo Flow fighting her way to the front of the pack. But right now we've got an Angel City lead jammer, and she calls off the jam courtesy of B-Train. We haven't seen B-Train jam yet this this uh, game. And you didn't even you didn't see her once. You're gonna see her twice in a row. On the line, number eleven, P train. I mean B train. Excuse me. My bad. My bad. B train is the leader of all shenanigans in roller derby. But Amanda Jaminia is Heart quite you. a shenanigizer herself. <laughs> wow, you should trademark that chip. That's good. <laughs> we'll try. Good stuff. It costs a lot of money. I want to go to school to become a shenanigizer. Can I write it in an envelope and postmark it and send it to myself and never open it? Yes, I please. Can't, I can't announce it to you guys anymore. It's crazy. It's crazy up here. It's crazy. Shenanigans. All right, here we go. Amanda jamming in you quickly, getting oh. knocked out of bounds. It gets called on a back blocking call. She's going to take a seat. B train so, still fighting it out at the front. B train on the track, trying to get through. They got to let her through. And B train gets a wicked lead jammer. Angel nice. City fans, under four minutes left. Give B train some love. Chaga, chaga, choo, choo. <laughs> That's a B train. It's common. It's common. Did you used to work for Southwest Airlines? Because I think you were my stewardess once. Either that or Amtrak. <laughs> That's how I row. Sorry, I was trying not to say that this whole tournament. <laughs> B-Train gets through again, and another full five. That is a Cinco de P-Train. Choo-choo. I'm sorry, I'm only saying that because there's a sign about it. Yeah, to the DNN listeners, there is a sign that says P-Train. It's okay. Yeah. Rocky Mountain trying to get that pack control, and they were getting it, and put a stop to that runaway P-Train. P-Train calls off the jam, and an excellent job of putting points on the board for Angel City by B-Train. Yeah, in fact, B-Train is the reason that Angel City's now over 100. Ladies and is that gentlemen. Fair? <laughs> that is fair. Trying to talk here. Okay, we have lost another <laughs> iPhone. Okay, if you can tell me what it looks like, you've lost it in the last five minutes over by the Adam Wheels. Come who, get your iPhone. Who keeps losing their iPhone? We're going to talk to Siri. Drunk people lose their iPhones. <laughs> okay, and now we're on number two. Thank you. Is that, is that saved in the iCloud? <laughs> All right, Chica Go Lightning held up in the back of the pack courtesy of Rocky Mountain, but... Once again, it is all Rocky Mountain. Fiona Grapple with Lee Jammer. Fiona Grapple in our eyes. Beastie Boys in our ears. Thanks to the DJ. Fiona Grapple round the outside, round the outside, round the outside. Untouched. Eminem would be happy. <laughs> Word. Boy, you know, it doesn't seem to matter what Rocky Mountain Jammer is jamming. It's just a bag full of Grand Slams every time. Fiona Grapple allowing herself to be stopped and looking to explode through that Angel City wall. They're trying to contain her. They can't do it. She gets through and calls off the jam, picking up another four. Ladies and gentlemen, Fiona Grapple. If you do not pick up your iPhone, I'm going to post to your Facebook. <laughs> hey, we've got some pictures to post. We're going to Instagram that mother. 
Twittering your MySpace iPhone user. Don't Twitter my Instagram space. What are you guys Twittering over there? It's getting dirty. I'm not, I have to go take a shower. All right. But you know who's not going to have to take a shower except for all the uh, damage she's doing, and that is she who cannot be named. She is Lee Jam. We are down to the final seconds of the period, but remember, we end on the jam clock, not on the period clock. Fifi Nominon with some good foot wor feet work, oh. footwork there. Holy crap, Fifi Nominon going so fast, she almost takes herself out and knocking blockers down as she gets through the pack. She who checking with her bench. Very precise about her procedures, looking at the clock. S clock ticking down, less than five seconds. People get on your feet, here we go. The jam clock is ticking. We've got a minute left. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the unofficial final 250 to 109. As it stands now, without correction, Rocky Mountain will take, there we go, 251. To 109, Rocky Mountain poised to take this beautiful, beautiful trophy home. And that pinata. Yeah, let's not forget about the pinata. It's not just about the trophy. It's also about the pinata. I hope they can get that on the plane. Ho or, you know what? We should just bust it open at Congress tonight. Oh, we are going to bust it open at Congress tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I know it's the game is over, but don't go anywhere. We still have closing ceremonies. We got to give away this trophy and a few more packages, raffle prizes, and whatnot. If you look on your Facebook and you see a post that says, "I lost my phone at Dust Devil," Jillaman Jaro loves you, and your name is Marissa Singleton. We have your phone. Joy Collision, I just posted on your Facebook wall. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Night made, done. Night made. Thank you, Joy Collision. Yeah. By the way, we also lost a mouth guard. If anybody wants to randomly accept this mouth guard, I don't know who's. Joy Collision lost her iPhone. Angel City making their way around. Slap their palm and make sure to not wash your hand because Derby Funk smelled good. Once again, thank you, Angel City. And one more time, your 2012 champions, Rocky Mountain Fight Club. Can I get everybody's attention? I wanted to go ahead and take a moment to um, recognize the teams that placed today. The number third position is actually a very historic win. AZRD beat, beat Tucson for the first time ever. Congratulations, number two, Angel City. And of course, the 2012 tournament champions.
Rocky Mountain. Come on over. We know that you guys have an awesome, eclectic trophy wall. This gets to be added to it. You can take naked pictures with it. Only if you post them to Facebook. Not only that, but I believe that we've started a new tradition. And inside that pinata is stuff from our vendors that they have donated to the champions only. And this is your stick. We're going to go ahead and lower it down. You can take your piñata with you. Congratulations. Triple shot miso gets the first whack. Wheel that lovely lady over there. Triple shot miso. Take a shot at that piñata. I feel like we should. Fiona Grapple, OMG, dude. Barry Bonds or Frida Beater? Yo no sé, yo no sé, yo no sé. I no question a pinata. Okay, okay, talk. Holy crap, guys. I don't know if this is a good idea. <laughs> oh my god. Sweet. This, this should not be a good idea. Ke Kevlar, Kevlar. Moss duct tape has been enforced for this piñata of awesome. Holy crap. Amanda, jam it in you, make you pay. Holy my God, it's just a piñata. Oh God, they're hitting that thing like Oli Rolla's circa 2010. This is crazy, crazy. Amanda jam it in ya, saying everybody just swarm the pinata and start clawing at it like it's Lord of the Flies. I'm so nervous. Dog pile the pinata. Dog pile the pinata. This is. Holy my God. Frida Beater is in the wrong sport, ladies and gentlemen. I'm starting to think that Frida Beater got her name from her pinata skills, and that it has nothing to do with skating. She who cannot be named is wearing the pinata like a true champion. The crown has been given. I the queen has been named, but she cannot be named. It's a conundrum. I hope pics pictures of that moment are flooding Facebook at the moment. She who, that is a look to remember. How come a bunch of pills came out of that pinata? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a bunch. We got a bunch of stuff to give away. So if you want a bunch of free stuff, stick around. We're going to do it really quick. I know a lot of you, or at least some of you, have some uh, flights to catch. All right, winning something. So we have four more free things to give away. Where's Wosilla the Killer? She won something. What do you got, Jillian Jaro? We have a gift basket from Derby Love. 
Also, the photo booth will be open for about 30 more minutes. Here's some wheels. So grab your friends, wear weird hats, do funny things, and go to the photo booth. Is uh, where is uh, Catholic cruel girl? You want something like earlier in the day? So after you're done there, you've got a prize pack also. Quick announcement: anyone that has lost their car.